not dying, so just let that. <laughs> just like a nut. Ugh. The name Sig Hansen is not new to fans of the famous show Deadliest Catch. Sig Hansen has practically become a household name for fans and other viewers of the show. However, as dangerous as crab fishing is, accidents are bound to happen, and some of these accidents can claim the lives of our favorite cast members and bring an end to their careers. Sig Hansen suffered a heart attack that was so terrifying that it almost claimed his life. Join us as we uncover the incident that almost ended the fishing career of Captain Sig Hansen. A near-death experience for Sig Hansen. Sig Hansen, the experienced and renowned captain of the FV Northwestern, was close to meeting a tragic end, but instead he could defy the odds and make it back to port just in time. Captain Sig Hansen has fearlessly commandeered many a choppy sea on Discovery's deadliest catch, but the fisherman has recently experienced his fair share of major health scares. Hansen has been a fan favorite since he first appeared on the show in 2005. The Redditors even named him the favorite captain on the show. As a result, it was no surprise that his fans all around the world freaked out when TMZ first reported that he suffered a heart attack while he was on board a boat in the process of filming the 12th season of Deadliest Catch. In episode 18 of Deadliest Catch's season 12, Sig Hansen could be seen discussing how stressful the season had been for him. He said that the season would not end until the Northwestern vessel made it to Seattle. And it was then that the shocking and unexpected thing happened. Hansen found himself struggling to complete his next sentence and clutched his chest, admitting that he was in pain. When the producer asked if anything was wrong, Hansen stubbornly replied that he would do the interview and was not dying. In the end, Hansen turned out to be wrong, as Discovery essentially filmed him having a heart attack at sea. He revealed during an interview with Hoda Kotb and Matt Lauer, just months before the 12th season was set to air, that he could have died that day. According to him, he was lucky, as that was a 50 to 50 chance. So he had equal chances of dying and living. From all indications, it was clear that Lady Luck was definitely on his side, since he was only about an hour from the port after completing the season when he complained of chest pains. At first, when it started, Hansen didn't think it was more than some sort of muscle pain in his chest and left arm that may have resulted from bad sleep. But how horrific was it when he eventually found out in the hospital that he had suffered from a special type of heart attack known as the Widowmaker? It is confirmed that this type of heart attack is one of the more deadly out there. The University of Michigan Health blog explained that, as far as heart attacks go, a Widowmaker can be particularly lethal because of the location and extent of the blockage. As fate and luck went hand in hand for our captain, Sig Hansen, he recovered from this unexpected and deadly heart attack and returned to deadliest catch the next season. However, his decision to go back to Northwestern and the hectic world of the show might not have been the best because just a few years after his initial heart attack in 2016, Hansen suffered another Widowmaker heart attack during the off-season in 2019. Sig Hansen's Second Life He kicked off season 15 of the dramatic docuseries by revealing that he previously had a slight heart attack, which was unbeknownst to his crew. Hansen went on to break the news of his second deadly health scare to his daughter Mandy and their crew during the season 15 premiere of Deadliest Catch. According to him, he went to the emergency room and found that one of his arteries was completely blocked off. This he said to Mandy and his deckhands, who were not only concerned about his well-being, but also his ability to captain the ship after having a heart attack. He later explained that he had to talk his doctors into letting him captain the ship. While the 52-year-old veteran captain shared few details on the show, Sig explained in an interview that the incident had occurred in October. Basically, he had been taking antibiotics for a sinus infection and started to swell up while driving through Seattle with his wife. 
the couple then rushed to the hospital. Hansen kept driving 100 miles an hour and went straight to the ER. The nurse there told him that he probably had less than 10 minutes. A nurse administered an EpiPen to save Sig's life, but instead of what it was supposed to do, it ended up having an adverse effect. The Discovery star instantly experienced a surging pain in his chest, and after conducting a blood level test, it was confirmed that he was in cardiac arrest. The allergic reaction to the EpiPen brought on a heart attack, so he found himself going through that nonsense all over again. This event marks his second heart attack to date after the first one that occurred and was captured on camera back in 2016 while filming for Deadliest Catch aboard the Northwestern. Fans of the show were beyond shocked to discover the repetition of Sig's heart attack three years later. Some concerned fans and viewers even aired their opinions and voiced their concerns, begging him to take a break from Northwestern or retire. On that note, Sig's mentality changed drastically after his health. He admitted that he was still afraid to board the boat and didn't like it anymore. He didn't even remember this king crab season, as he was still trying to get over the last winter. He said that he couldn't get it out of my mind as it was so scary, and it had been really hard, and he didn't know how much more he had left in him. However, his on-screen seafaring days seemed to be far from over, even with the two deadly heart attacks that he'd suffered. Sig's daughter, Mandy, has since taken over Northwestern, but he revealed in an interview that the long-standing series has practically become second nature for him. He said that he felt like the show was a part of their lives now, and that as long as it was going on, he would still participate. However, this was a wake-up call for Sig's well-being. He realized that while on the show, he needed to be cautious and put his health first. He added that he thought about it every morning and night. He thought he'd have another one, even that night before the interview. With these troubling thoughts, getting on the boat is becoming harder and harder. However, health challenges aren't the only problem that Hansen has faced in his journey on Deadliest Catch. He's had his share of challenges, both technical and personal. Wildfire at sea. It doesn't matter the kind or nature of a person's job. Dealing with distractions that fight for a person's attention or pull a person's concentration away is a common issue. The fishermen on Discovery's deadliest catch must deal with distractions that can lead to injuries or certain death. For the deckhands of these vessels, the focus on hauling in enough crab to get home in time is often interrupted by massive rogue waves swinging 700-pound pots and the constant possibility of getting knocked overboard. However, the captains have their own set of dangerous distractions to worry about to keep both people and vessels alive. Captains like Sig Hansen of the FV Northwestern fall into the category of people who are not only responsible for keeping the crew safe, but also for making sure that the vessel itself stays intact and remains afloat. Mechanical failures and ice buildup are always a concern, but as Hansen explained in an interview, nothing compares to the fear of an onboard fire breaking out. Sometimes it gets to the point where, when there's a fire one can't put out, it simply disregards everything and burns on fiercely, and the person finds that he's on his little island. It doesn't get easier because with all the interconnected mechanical parts required to power the boat, Dealing with the occasional fire is just a situation that needs to be handled here and there. However, unfortunately for Sig Hansen and the entire crew of the Northwestern vessel, this type of horrifying moment caught up with them in Season 12, Episodes 13 and 14, titled Fire at Sea, when the experienced captain found himself needing to make quick decisions before everything in his world was lost. And just like every life or death decision these captains make, a steady mind and a calm demeanor are the best ways to ensure the crew's survival. So, while fishing on the Bering Sea as usual, Sig Hansen and his crew found themselves in the middle of a sudden power outage. Now, a power outage is dangerous in itself because zero power equals zero control, which in turn means that the vessel is a bobbing disaster just waiting to happen. If the Northwestern crew thought that power outage was their only problem, they were in for a huge spirit-dampening disappointment because the situation worsened. 
and the danger was catapulted to a whole new level at the moment when a deckhand yelled, Fire! In that very instant, rationality can arise within seconds. At this point, Hansen's professionalism kicked in, and he quickly answered with a dignified voice, telling them to stay calm. Even though Hansen immediately showed his sturdy leadership in the middle of this frightening emergency, he was still a man after all. And he explained in an interview that this reaction at that time was a necessary facade, masking what was going on inside his head. According to him, he was even more afraid than anybody else on board. He just wanted to stay calm. Well, it was no surprise that Hansen managed to stay calm amidst the crisis. He had some extra motivation to take his own advice because one of his deckhands on board was actually his own daughter, Mandy. The fact was that they were in danger. However, he explained that fact needed to stay out of his mind until after they were all safe. In the end, Hansen kept his captain's head straight and above water. He kept Northwestern safe as the fire was discovered and put out. Of course, even one experience like this would lead most people to consider finding a new line of work. But Hansen differs from most people. When asked if he ever had second thoughts about this line of work, he responded, yes, but I'm too stupid to do anything else. The fire incident is only one of the dangerous situations in which the captain found himself. He'd been in other dangerous situations over the long years he spent as a fisherman, not to mention the heart attacks he had. Speaking of heart attacks, Sig was lucky to escape death twice, but there's one captain who wasn't so lucky with a heart attack. Captain Malin Reyes, Fatal Health Problems. Aside from the tragedies Captain Sig Hansen experienced, the entire show, Deadliest Catch, has had its fair share of tragedy. These include the deaths of Captain Phil Harris and the tragic deaths of other cast members. There are many other deaths of fishermen both on and off the water. But occasionally, tragedy is avoided and lives are spared from the deadly lifestyle of fishing on the Bering Sea. Having first appeared in the 2012 episode, The Hook as a greenhorn aboard the fishing vessel known as the Seabrook, Malin Reyes became a regular presence throughout season eight. In later seasons, he was promoted to deckhand on the Seabrook from Greenhorn before he transferred to Cape Caution in 2014. He was absent for over half a decade until he eventually returned as a deckhand on the Summer Bay in 2020 and stayed there for three episodes. However, no one knew or saw coming that those three episodes proved to be the final time that Reyes would ever be seen on screen in Deadliest Catch or any other screen. In August 2020, he died at the age of 38 from a heart attack. However, according to his family members, before the attack, Reyes was not suffering from any pre-existing health conditions. And as such, the heart attack came as a complete surprise. His wife and their four children survived him, and his family later revealed that his ashes were to be scattered at sea. A later episode of Deadliest Catch was subsequently aired in memory of the fisherman his family made a post on Facebook that on Sunday night, the family together made the hardest choice they had ever made, and that was to remove him from life support. Malin's body was tired and had put up an amazing fight. He was the strongest guy they knew. Health challenges from heart attacks to cancer have proved to be one of the major problems faced by our favorite cast members on the sea. Some have led to death, and for others, tragedy comes in another way. Let's glance at some of the tragedies plaguing deadliest catch. Phil Harris's battle against stroke. Phil Harris was one of the series' first breakout stars and the captain of the FV Cornelia Marie. He made a brief appearance in the first season, after which he took center stage starting in season two, along with his sons, Jake and Josh Harris the latter of whom took over Cornelia Marie after his death. Even though Harris had been working on fishing boats since the tender age of seven and started crabbing as a teenager who had been operating out of Seattle, television stardom came late to him. He ran his first vessel at age 21, making him the youngest captain on the Bering Sea at the time. As the show was filming its sixth season in January 2010, Harris suffered a massive stroke while he was at port in St. Paul Island. 
He was immediately flown to a hospital in Anchorage and placed in a medically induced coma. He gave hope to his crew and family by emerging from the coma with some brief signs of improvement. However, he died of an intracranial hemorrhage in February 2010. The production captured his stroke and subsequent stay at the hospital on camera and featured them in several episodes of season six. At the end of the season, Josh returned to the Cornelia Marie to pick up where his father had left off, and Discovery aired a tribute episode to the late captain, the shocking loss of Justin Tennyson. Compared to some of the other cast members shown on Deadliest Catch, Justin Tennyson's run on the show was brief. In season seven, the experienced fisherman joined the Time Bandit as deckhands. That meant he had to work with Andy, Jonathan, Neil Hillstrand, and Eddie Uwekalani on one of the series' most popular vessels. His first appearance was made in 2011, and he appeared in eight episodes. Unfortunately, his time was cut short. In February 2011, Tennyson was found dead in a hotel room in Alaska at the young age of 33. Despite the initial speculation that his death may have been caused by substance abuse, it was eventually revealed that he suffered from sleep apnea, and complications from this condition were responsible. According to his friend and cousin, Uwekulani, his last wish was to be cremated and taken out to the water for one last trip. He loved Alaska. He loved hunting and fishing and everything about it. He loved his kids tremendously, but had to leave all that behind. Ultimate Tragedy at the Sea Undoubtedly, one of the biggest threats for any fisherman is for their vessel to become damaged. Not only can this put their individual lives at risk, but it also opens up the very real possibility of the ship sinking with all of its equipment, and everything is on board. It is the worst nightmare for any captain, and something nobody wants to witness. Unfortunately, just because no one wants to witness it doesn't mean it will not happen. Deadliest Catch has featured several fishing ships that have sadly sunk either on the show or off screen, and it often ends with tragic consequences for those involved. When the snow started in 2005, the FV Big Valley sank, claiming the lives of five of the six crew members on the ship, while the FV destination simply disappeared, leading to a widespread search that was depicted in Deadliest Catch as the Coast Guard and close-by boats helped to locate the sunken vessel. Other ships that have appeared in Deadliest Catch and have subsequently been lost at sea include the Virginia Boys, which sank while drowning three crew members aboard, the FV Alaska Ranger and the Katmai. Perhaps the most highly publicized of these terrible incidents was the FV Scandies Rose, a crab fishing ship that sank in 2019, resulting in the deaths of five of the seven crew members on board. Mysterious Death of Nick McGlashan When it comes to the sea and its works, tragedy is bound to happen. Sometimes it happens mysteriously. Following his initial appearance in 2013, Nick McGlashan quickly became a popular Deadliest Catch cast member. Originally, he was working as a deckhand on board the Cape Caution, but just like Malin Reyes, he later transitioned to the Summer Bay where he worked as a deck boss from 2017 until his final posthumous on-screen role in the 2021 episode titled Tangled Web as part of season 17. Throughout that time, McGlashan was present in 85 successful reality television show episodes. The 33-year-old fisherman star of the series was found dead in December 2020. At first, no one had any idea what caused his death since he was relatively healthy. But then, opinions started flying around. According to Variety, the fisherman had struggled with addiction problems for many years, abusing alcohol and drugs right from a young age. However, he had been living sober for some time before his death, having been forced to confront his issues under threat of being fired from his fishing job. The British tabloid paper The Sun later reported that his autopsy had shown that he had died from an overdose and that a mixture of drugs was found in his body. Sometimes the tragedy on this widely known show doesn't necessarily include death, but has to do with heartbreaking diagnoses and lingering health issues. Bill Wikrowski is diagnosed with prostate cancer. 
The cast of Deadliest Catch faces downright perilous conditions routinely for a living. But this reminds us that the captains and crew members are also vulnerable to the same dangers that can threaten the lives of folks with much safer jobs and lifestyles. Bill Wikrowski is the captain of FV Summer Bay and a Deadliest Catch staple since he joined the show in Season 6. After Season 19, titled Wild, he received some profoundly upsetting news. He's been diagnosed with prostate cancer. His doctor informed him that, while the illness was aggressive enough to threaten his life, they could treat it with chemotherapy and hormones. According to the American Cancer Society, more than 288,000 new cases of prostate cancer are reported every year, and the disease kills almost 35,000 people annually in the U.S. As of 2023, Wikrowski remains among the living, and if posts on his Facebook page from November of 2023 are any indication, he's in relatively good spirits and doing well for himself, but it doesn't undermine the deadly potential of the cancer. Tragedies that the team has survived. Crab fishing is very dangerous, and this makes it necessary for the crews of the various vessels showcased in Deadliest Catch to regularly risk their lives. So, while efforts are made to make the job as safe as possible for the crew and the captains, some injuries cannot be prevented. Throughout the more than 300 episodes of the reality series to date, there have been some truly horrifying incidents where fishermen have suffered serious wounds. One of the worst injuries recorded on the show was the one that happened to Corey Rhodes during the finale episode of season 15. The injury was by no means small, as the deckhand saw his leg mangled after it was crushed by a falling 1,000-pound crab pot, breaking both the fibula and tibia of his leg. Rhodes had to be evacuated to the hospital by the Coast Guard due to the serious nature of the leg injury. Meanwhile, Roger Schlustein was injured twice during his appearances on Deadliest Catch. The first occurrence saw the fisherman crush his hand against a rail, while the second involved a loose crab pot crashing into his back while he worked at a sorting table. Another significant injury on Deadliest Catch includes Francis Katungan, who was pinned against a railing by a giant piece of steel after a wave dislodged crab pots on the side of the Patricia Lee. This incident was particularly dangerous and was so bad that producer Todd Stanley had to provide first aid until the ship was within range of a Coast Guard helicopter. Sig Hansen, about the veteran captain. Our star captain, Sig Hansen, has come a long way in his journey and has constantly been voted the best captain on Deadly Catch. But how did he start? The great captain Sig Hansen initially started out as a deckhand on his father's boat even before his teenage years, from where he worked his way up the ranks. At age 22, he became a relief skipper, relieving other captains on the Northwestern and doing short-haul stints on other boats in the fleet. When he was 24, he began running Northwestern full-time. Over the years, the boat has become a top producer and has an excellent safety record. It has never had a single death at sea in the nearly 20 years Hansen has been at the helm of its management, and its serious injury rate is significantly lower than that of other boats in the Bering Sea fleet. In 2005 for King Crab and 2006 for Opilio, Northwestern won the final derby seasons and took home the titles for the highest poundage caught and the highest dollars earned amongst the featured boats in the deadliest catch. As of 2011, Hansen served as the full-time captain during the King and Opilio crab seasons and the pot cod fishery on the Northwestern. His younger brothers, Edgar and Norman, are deck bosses and deckhands, respectively. Hansen became a published author in March 2010 with the release of his book, North by Northwestern, a seafaring family on deadly Alaskan waters, which he co-wrote with Mark Sundin. The book reached the bestseller list of the New York Times and made it to the Wall Street Journal. On April 29, 2010, Hansen was a guest on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. During the show, he expressed his desire to be a contestant on the next season of the hit ABC reality television series, Dancing with the Stars. Leno's staff set up a Facebook page to gather support for him to be selected for the show. 
In September 2010, Hansen announced that he would not return for the seventh season of Deadliest Catch. However, in October 2010, it was announced that Hansen would return to the show. Hansen was inducted into the Scandinavian American Hall of Fame in 2014, along with Tonight Show bandleader Doc Severinsen and singer Bobby V. What are your thoughts about Sig Hansen's heart attack, which almost ended his fishing career? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to see more videos.